What's up guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Shelf Mod for Minecraft 1.2.4. So uh, let's go get uh, let's get started, I, I'll have two links in the, in the description. One is going to be the Shelf Mod for 1.2.4 and Mod Loader. Okay, they're both going to be add fly links. Uh, so let me just go ahead and refresh this page. If you ever see like download now, it's only just ads, but if you see in this corner, it starts at 5. And goes all the way down to zero. So if you ever see like download now or like uh, like click here to download, just don't click those. Those are just ads. It won't actually download the mod. So each if you just press skip add, you down should begin right there. It should it should say shelves dot, dot zips. So let me go ahead and save. Nope, suck. Let me just start. Sorry. Let me just go ahead and save save as to my desktop. Just go ahead desktop save like that. Let me just click open and. A mod loader link, same thing. Just go ahead, and wait five seconds, press skip add, and it's all good. Um, and just close out of this. Then just go. Uh, before going going any further, uh, you're gonna want to do a f Minecraft force update. If you don't know how to do this, then I'm just gonna do it right now. So if you're gonna, you're gonna go launch it Minecraft, go options, force update done, and log in. Uh, you, uh, I recommend doing a force update. You don't have to, but uh, sometimes, because sometimes two mods won't, or like more than one mod won't correspond well together. I recommend doing it, um, but it's up to you guys. But or or another example, if you ever install the Sky mod, it doesn't work. Just go ahead, go option force update. Then you just go ahead and log in, and this will set your Minecraft Dodge drive back to its original state, so you won't get any little black screens or whatever the problem was with that mod uh, that guy installed. Minecraft. Uh, so then you can just go ahead and close out of that when it's done loading up. And then you go to here, search programs and files. Then you go hold shift and hit the number five. And this will give you a percentage sign or whatever your percentage sign is. I'm not quite sure on the Mac. But percentage A P P D A T A percentage app data just like that and hit another percentage. Hit enter and you're gonna go to your dot Minecraft file folder and into your bin folder. Then you're gonna find your Minecraft. You right click that. You're gonna go open with WinRAR Archiver. So there you go. And you can just go ahead and keep the close out of that and this too. But keep your Minecraft.jar open. This is what we are gonna be. Um, it's what we will be using to install the mod. So then once you've got your fi Minecraft fi Minecraft.jar open, if you need a force update uh, or whatever, you'll see meta imp folder. Delete files. Go ahead and delete files. And uh, uh, before going further, if you don't have the WinRAR, if you don't have WinRAR, just go ahead and go download that. It's a zipping file folder, or is it? You can use 7-zip and WinRAR. So just go ahead and go download that if you don't already have it. So then you can just go ahead and delete MetaInf. If you don't, but delete MetaInf, then you will get a black screen. Uh, quick way to ex explain: It doesn't work with uh, you. It's like an anti-mod thing. Uh, anti-mod thing. For that more jam, but there, it's just there you go. Just do that. Force update. It's all good. And you're gonna go ahead and open mod loader. Dot zip. Uh, it shouldn't say uh, 1.2.4. I just put it there because it's easier for people to see. So then you're gonna click and drag all of these f class files from vh.class all the way up to adl.class. So click and drag these down here. Make sure to drop them down here, not up here where the file folders are because there's a possibility that you will drop them into one of the file folders and which will make your minecraft crash so make sure to click and drag there uh... click ok then go ahead and click you can close out of mod loader then you're gonna find your shelves mod you don't, wherever you saved it to then then just go ahead and uh, click and drag all these class files you don't need this file folder just use this so click and drag down here hit ok that's it. Just, now you can just go ahead and launch Minecraft and everything uh, should work fine. Uh, so we should go back to that uh, shelves. So, so as you can see, uh, there I'll I'll leave the link to this to this page too. If you guys want to read more about it, uh, nothing much to explain. This is some explanation on how to install it. But I just showed you a tutorial. You can just like right click it. It's like it's like a chest. You should just put whatever you want in it. It's just, it acts like shelves, and you actually you can also use these as stairs, so you can just walk up them. 
pretty it's a pretty nice mod I guess. Uh, but this uh this is the end. well I'm this is the end of my tutorial. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video then feel free to leave a like. Um, um that's pretty much it guys. If you have any problems on this mod, uh just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Feel free to subscribe as I do post daily videos and if you can just go click that subscribe button at the end of the video or click to see other videos, my previous video or my future or my next video if it's out already. But that's it guys. Have a nice day. Peace.